Janine Francola from Jackson, New Jersey, where she is a veterinary technician and somebody who needs some dough. Yes. Well, then Lots let's. Of it. Okay, well, you know the rules, you know the lifelines. Let's make some money. Are you ready to play? I'm ready. All right, let's play. For $100, Janine. According to the title of the ubiquitous Christmas song, Santa Claus is coming where? To school? To town? To Toyland? To Weight Watchers? That would be B, to town. Final answer. I hope so, absolutely. Going for 200, Janine. To protect birds, many people advocate tossing bird seed at newlywed couples instead of what traditional item? Rice, mint leaves, grapes, sugar cubes. I wouldn't let them throw anything at me at my wedding, but the answer is A, rice. Final answer. Yes, it's rice, absolutely. 300 now, Janine. A person who is said to be playing the back nine is participating in what sport? Badminton, soccer, water polo, golf. Don't play sports, but I'm fairly certain the answer is D, golf. Final answer. Mm, it is golf, yeah. <laughs> Going for 500. Used to navigate underwater, sonar is derived from an abbreviation in which the first two letters are short for what? Sound, solar, south, sodium. A, sound. Final answer. Absolutely, you have it again. It's for $1,000 for me. Which of these classic teen comedies shares its title with the Beatles song? Clueless, Can't Buy Me Love, Better Off Dead, Can't Hardly Wait. I love the Beatles, and that would be B, Can't Buy Me Love, final answer. I love the Beatles too, you have a thousand dollars. Okay, Janine, this is for $2,000. In 1939, the producer of Gone with the Wind asked for industry permission to use what word in the movie? Hell, gosh, damn, shoot. Gone with the Wind. Frankly, my dear Scarlett, I don't give a damn. Lead me to believe that the answer is C, damn, final answer. It is damn, yeah. This is 4,000, Janine. The battles of Saratoga, pivotal Revolutionary War conflicts, were fought in a colony that is now what U.S. state? Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York. I think I'd like to pull the audience. Okay, audience, we need, need your help. If you're ready, vote now. Okay, 88% believe it is New York. Okay. I trust the New York audience would know what was going on in their state, so I will go with the audience and say D, New York. Final answer. And yes, they're right. You have it. All righty, Janine, this is for $8,000. Though Amsterdam is the capital of the Netherlands, the seat of the Dutch government is located in what city? Rotterdam? Utrecht? Maastricht, The Hague. Uh, I guess I'll do the 50-50, please. Okay, computer, please randomly take away two of the wrong answers. Let's try... Um, Gale. And who's Gail? Gail is, uh, well, I know her as Dr. Holy, and she's one of my professors at Georgian Court and uh, has been my mentor through my career there, so. Oh, that's nice. Okay, we're going to get Gail on the line. Hello? Hey, Gail, it's Meredith from Millionaire. How are you? Hi, Meredith. I'm good, thanks. Good. I'm with Janine, and she's going for $8,000, Gail, but she needs a little of your help. Oh, I hope I can do it. <laughs> I do, too. Janine, you have 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Though Amsterdam is the capital of the Netherlands, the seat of the Dutch government is located in what city? Utrecht or The Hague? The Hague. You're sure? 
Yeah. Thank you so much, Dr. Holy, and I will trust her as I always do implicitly and go with Z the A. Final answer. She's a good lady to trust. You have 80000 I mean, we'll take a look at that $16,000 question right after this.